So the number one thing, you guys, when we define what a lead is, is you and the prospect have agreed to following up with each other. That's number one, okay? Mm -hmm. Number two, number two, they, they agree to give you an opportunity to earn their business at some time in the future. That's number two. And then number three is they gave you a valid email address. Those three things, not one, not two, all three, Tony, must occur in order for me to say I generated a lead. Now, let me ask you, of the people you were following up with that were ghosting you, of those three, how what percentage had all three versus, uh, versus not? I'm gonna say uh, 50. About 50%? 50 yeah. Okay, good. So, so, so you're gonna tweak that moving forward. Can we agree on that? Absolutely. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. So you're going to follow up with a lot less people. Okay. So, so that's the first part of my recommendation. You understand what the ratios are. You understand what a lead is. You understand what a lead isn't. We are probably forcing some leads in there that shouldn't have been a lead. Yeah. Now let's talk about the second part. The second part, once we've generated a lead that has all three parts or all three components to what we, we qualify as a lead. Now, all we need to do, Tony, is just run the play by being a t detached from the outcome 100%. So when I make a Monday follow-up call, I saw a lot of questions in the Facebook group this week. I don't care if they answer. I don't care. If you saw the interview that I did with some of our students over the past couple of weeks, they all told you all the magic, all the conversion happens on average, Tony, four, five, six weeks in the future. Before they saw any light at the end of the tunnel, it was four to six weeks in the future before they started to get opportunities with these leads. So I'm dropping off too soon, basically. Oh, way too soon. I yeah. mean, way <laughs> too soon. Absolutely. That's for sure. Just so you know, I mean, the vast majority, let me let me walk you through what happens with the for sale by owner. Mm -hmm. That first week, their optimism and, and their positivity is very high. Then they get crushed, bombarded by all of us, calling all the realtors calling. Then they stop answering their phone calls altogether. They gotta go through all this pain, this whole pain cycle before they you start to have better conversations with them over time. Mm -hmm. That's why all the magic happens between four and six weeks because just like you, Tony, let me ask you this. This should be like a huge, huge eye opener. Do you think most real estate agents are doing what you're doing and dropping off with the follow-up? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So that's where I say you have to be the last man or the last woman standing. You, in order to be the obvious choice, you have to play the long game. So remember I said, allow the FISBO, allow the prospect to go through the pain on their own. All you have to do is be the last man or the last woman standing, and you almost guarantee yourself an opportunity to win that listing. Gotcha. So yes, you're giving up way too soon. There's no doubt about that. And, and never forget this, 50% of my business, any uh, a veteran agent that's been doing this for a while will tell you the same thing. 50% of my business comes from people that I had conversations with a year or longer ago, 50%. Only a small fraction comes from like these conversations today and tomorrow. Very, 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 very small, very, very small. Because I mean, cause here, here's something I think about all the time. Mm -hmm. When people, let me ask you this. This is such an easy question to answer. When people move, they buy a house or they sell a house, do you think that they made that decision to actually uh, move forward immediately? Uh, uh, do you think that that happens over a few days or do you think they've been thinking about it for a long period of time? Oh, it's definitely a process. They've been, they've been thinking about that. You got it. That's exactly right. So now, Tony, what I try to train you to do is go out there, meet with these people face to face. It takes time for things to actually start turning over. So you got to stay in the pocket longer. Mm -hmm. We got to detach from the outcome. We have to have better conversations up front to make sure that the quality of people we put into our lead follow up system is high. We don't want to mess. We don't want to messy that up. We want to have nice, qualified leads that we're following up with. And if they're not, that's okay. There's plenty of opportunities out there.